Hello friends, I continue to do experiments. This time I have prepared an answer for you about this thing that turns and turns in my hands. This is a Crux radiometer. I have tried several times to find out from you how you understand the rotation of the blades of this radiometer. I have learned a lot of opinion from you in your answer op options. Many have written to me that this is uh, light pressure, quantum physics, solar panels and so on. Few people answered correctly. <coughs> I decided to shed some light on this mystery. So who is uh, it spinning? I should know that it does not rotate in the dark. It rotates only under certain condition, one of which is that a light circle of sufficient power is needed from the point of view of thermal radiation. If you shine the which LED, it will not rotate. We need a sufficiently powerful light circle in the infrared region of the spectrum. There is a vacuum in the um, tube or flask, but not very strong. Consequently, there is a sufficiently large number of molecules to collide, collide with the blades. Pay attention to the shoulder blades. They are covered with a special paint. More precisely, on side of the blade is covered with a paint that absorbs light better than the other. This means that it will heat up better. Consequently, air molecules from a more heated blade will repel at a higher speed than from a less heated blade, which eventually leads to an uncompensated pulse, as a result, or as a result of which the radiometer begins to rotate. Here is the basic principles of rotation of the radiometer. Another thing is who does light hit the surface. We can already talk about quantum physics here, if you want, but I want to do yet and get with think about it yourself. In conclusion, I remind you about the book of kinematics, which you can purchase as a digital products in the advertising feed of my products. You only need to choose a digital products and make a purchase. That's all for now. Look, watch this experiment to the end, which the radiometer, and I say you goodbye to you to the next ideas, to new projects, all by, sincerely, Yuri Kovalev.